Okay, guys, I am out today. Um, my daughter is sick, and I'm going to be with her today. I want you guys to open up your Google Classroom and take a look at what you see here. And obviously, you've already opened it if you're in this video. So the video should have been right in between the Blook It warm-up and the Desmos classwork. And I want you guys to know the warm-up. You can play the warm-up. It's about 20 questions of Monster Bra. Once you're done with that, I don't want you spending the whole period on this because it's only answering 20 questions. Then you're going to go into the Desmos actual um, classwork. See, it says classwork. And then after you finish the classwork, there's only a five question exit ticket. If you haven't done these two exit tickets by the end of the day, that's your homework. OK, if you take the whole period to do this Desmos, that's fine, because guess what this video is going to be? It's going to go through each slide of the Desmos right now, okay? I'm able to <clears throat> mark up my screen if I need to, okay, and talk things out for you. So the first first one we've actually already done before, we're gonna have a 10 over two, and I'm using a mouse, which I know is, isn't easy. In class, I would have a stylus, but 10 over two positive. So which one of these equals 10 over two positive? We know it's not this one. It's not this one, okay? Because that's two over 10. But what about negative 10 over negative two? Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. OK, so this one works. Why don't you hit pause and try the rest of them and see if it works? OK, now look at the next one. This is a negative. So that's going to be only one negative here means it's going to be negative. This isn't a negative. Negative divided by positive is going to be negative. So this is not correct. You need to have two negatives to make it positive. Remember that two negatives to make it positive here. Only one negative, not gonna work. But what about the last one? Do we have two negatives? Two negatives makes it a positive. Okay, so there's your answer. Whenever I say pause, I expect you to pause your screen and answer it on your own, okay? Next one, why don't you try this one on your own? Why don't you hit pause and try this one on your own? Okay, let's take a look at it now. Obviously, the first one, because what do we want? We want negative 7 over 8. And as we do that, we can see, nope, that's not going to work because that's positive. But what about this one? When there's only one negative, it'll be negative. All right, we just went over that rule. One negative is going to be negative. What about here? Only one negative, going to be negative. Okay, here, two negatives makes it a positive. We don't want that. And then two negatives here becomes positive. Interesting. So this becomes positive inside. And then what happens when the positive multiplies the negative? It becomes negative. All right. Now, I'm not going to do every single problem for you, but I will talk problems out for you because this video would be like 40 minutes long if I did every single one of them. All right. Listen up for this one. Remember, you got to deal with this first. So. You're supposed to sketch out your work over here, okay? Which is great to do. But when we're dealing with these two here, we're dealing with the group here, right? You gotta deal with the group first. I want you to make sure you can realize that you have to do this part first, this parenthesis in here. So these two, these two negatives, remember? They're gonna become, if they're right outside that, right outside the parenthesis, it's gonna change this in here to, to positive. This is gonna change it to positive, so it's gonna be 14. 12 plus two is 14. And then negative two over here. All right. It's hard to go with my mouse. Okay. Again, you're going to do the same thing on the touchpad. Negative two plus 14 is going to be 12. And then what do you do with fractions? Remember, when fractions happen, you multiply straight across, straight across. Okay. So do the best you can on this one. If you need some help, Miss E's in there. All right. She can help you out. Now, next one. Same idea. What are you going to do first? You're going to deal with this part first. You're going to go ahead and Make those positive, and this is going to become 6. Then negative 12 plus 6, you're going to subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So this will be a negative. And actually, it's going to become a negative 6. All right? And then do the best you can from there to solve it. All right? You're going to put negative 6 over 1, and then you're going to multiply 5 over 6, OK? And you can do this. Remember, when you multiply, you're going to multiply straight across. I always put like an arrow here, straight across. 
and it's a negative times a positive. That's a big arrow, sorry. Negative six over one, that's a negative, over positive five over six, that's gonna turn into a negative answer. All right, keep it going. All right, the temperature on Sunday was negative 15 degrees. The temperature on Monday was 12 degrees less. Can you uh, put that in your brain? Less, they're trying to mess with you. Less than the temperature on Sunday. So the temperature on Monday was smaller than the temperature on Sunday. So it's gonna go down, all right? This thermometer messes with you because down here is where the starting point is, negative 15. It's gonna go even farther down. You gotta figure out what that number is, okay? It's gonna go farther down. Hopefully that helps you. All right, let's keep it going. Eric uses 4.84 cups of fruit to make four equal servings. How much fruit is in each serving? All right, well, we're taking that 4.84 and we're cutting it up into four equal servings. So if I had to do that, I was going to put 4.84 and we're going to cut it up. So how would we cut it up? We're going to cut it up, if imagine this is a box, into four equal servings, right? When we're cutting something up, what are we doing? Look at my bar here. We're gonna go 4.84 and we're gonna divide. That means we're gonna cut it up. We're gonna divide four servings out of 4.84. You do the math on this, you can do this, all right? Next one, the same kind of question. You go to Chipotle with friends. The total bill is $26.49. They split the bill evenly. How much did each person pay? Use the sketch pad to show your work, then choose the correct answer. Okay, you got this. It's a division problem. Again, you're on this one on your own, division. Oh, this one, you guys are good at this one. You get five points for every correct answer and you lose two points for every incorrect answer. James answered six questions correctly and four incorrectly. Which expression correctly models the situation. All right, we're multiplying, remember? And you're losing points. If you lose, that's gonna be a negative, negative. You got this. Is that the same kind of problem? Oops, did it change the math on this? Oh, this one wants you to see the actual math on here. So could you actually give me the numbers, the multiplication, adding, and then a final answer? You got this, okay? Go back to the previous screen if you're kind of lost. It's not the same numbers though, so don't copy. They're different numbers. All right, and the temperature in your freezer, it's negative five and a half degrees. That was too cold. So you turn the temperature up to negative two and a half degrees by how much did the temperature change? You turn the temperature up. So is that an increase or a decrease up? Hopefully you understand that is an increase. So you can right away cross out these two choices. No way it could be those two. All right, so you make your decision there. At the North Pole, the temperature was negative three and a quarter degrees. By evening, the temperature becomes negative seven and three quarters degrees. By how much did the temperature change? Okay, it had gotten, had it gotten increased or decreased. This one's a little different. This one doesn't really tell you, but it's right here, right? Negative three, and it went down to negative seven. It decreased, all right? All right, you're gonna have to really work through the rest of this the best you can. Ooh, negative three halves. Each one's going by half, so you're gonna go three halves away. One, two, three, and then the other way. One, two, three on the other side, okay? What happens when they break out of the bars? It becomes positive. Breaks out of the bars, becomes positive. This one's interesting. Let's see if this math works out for you. And explain, I hope there's an explain there. Which of the following is equal to one? So maybe only one of them is equal to one. And as I look at it, yeah, only one of them is equal to one. All right, remember what you're doing, multiplying straight across. Take your time, do this math first. Remember a negative times a positive is a negative. Then this negative comes into play, okay? 
You're almost done. Negative times a negative is a positive. That answer though, times a negative will become negative. And then at the end, finish it off. Oh, and this is a second to last one. Multiplication, stack in and multiply. And this last one, select two expressions that have negative four. There's two of them that equal negative four, which two? All right, you guys, that is your assignment for the day. I hope you can get through it. I hope if you don't, you can finish these two for homework, okay? That's the biggest thing. You guys got to keep yourself busy this whole period. Hopefully, if you're good, maybe I have a reward for you for tomorrow, okay? Nobody gets written on a sub report. Good job today, guys.